will serve you because I love you. You have given life to me. I was nothing until you found me. You have given life to me. Heartaches, broken people, ruined lives are why you died on Calvary. Your touch is what I long for. You have given life to me. I will serve you because I love you. Have given life to me. I was nothing until you found me. You have given life to me. Heartaches, broken people, ruined lives are why you. in the midst of us and we are called by your name leave us not O Lord our God glory be to you O God glory be to you glory be to you O Father glory be to you glory be to you O Son Glory be to you. Glory be to you, O Spirit. Glory be to you. Glory be to you, O God. Glory be to you. Your faithful servants bless you. I will exalt you, O God, my King, and bless your name for ever and ever. Every day I bless you and praise your name for ever and ever. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. There is no end to his greatness. One generation shall praise your works to another and shall declare your power. I will ponder the glorious splendour of your majesty and all your marvellous works. They shall speak of the might of your wondrous acts, and I will tell of your greatness. They shall publish the remembrance of your great goodness. They shall sing of your righteous deeds. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is loving to everyone and his compassion is over all his works. Your faithful servants bless you. Our reading is taken from St Paul's letter to the Ephesians chapter 3. I pray that, according to the riches of his glory, he may grant that you may be strengthened in your inner being with power through his Spirit, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, 
as you are being rooted and grounded in love. I pray that you may have the power to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. You gave your people food of angels, and without their toil you supplied them from heaven with bread ready to eat. Lord, give us this bread, providing every pleasure that suited to every taste. Lord, give us this bread. For your sustenance manifested your sweetness towards your children. Lord, give us this bread and the bread ministering to the desire of the one who took it was changed to suit everyone's liking lord give us this bread that the barriers that divide us may be broken down lord have mercy that we may live in unity peace and concord lord have mercy that we may come to mutual understanding and care lord have mercy upon all who suffer from dissensions and quarrels christ have mercy upon all who are torn apart by war and by violence Christ have mercy upon all who are divided in their loyalty and love Christ have mercy that all who work for unity may be blessed Lord have mercy that all who heal divisions may have hope Lord have mercy that all who lead nations may seek peace. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory for ever and ever amen god be in my head and in my understanding god be in my eyes and in my looking God be in my mouth and in my speaking. God be in my heart and in my thinking. God be at my end and at my departing. The Lord enrich us with his grace and further us with his heavenly blessing. The Lord defend us in adversity and keep us from all evil. The Lord receive our prayers. The Lord receive our prayers and graciously absolve us from our offences. Amen. <laughs>